this lesson, we're going to be comparing rational numbers. So when we think about rational numbers, we're going to have positive and negative numbers. So I drew a little number line here for you to see. And remember, the smaller the number is with a negative sign, the closer it is to zero. So we know that negative three is less than negative one. We're need, going to need to keep that in mind as we're working these problems. So let's look at the first one. The directions say to complete each statement using less than or greater than. So when I'm looking at number one, I have four tenths and a six tenths. Well, those are both positive, and I know that four tenths is definitely less than six tenths. Looking at number two, we have two negatives here. So I see that I have negative one-fourth and negative one-half. So on the number line, negative one-fourth might be like right there. And negative one-half is just a little bit more to the left. So you can see that negative one-fourth is closer to the zero. So we know that negative one-fourth is greater than negative one-half. Looking at the next one, oh, we have a decimal, and this time we have a fraction. So to make your life easy, I would change three-fifths to a decimal. And we know that three-fifths changed to a decimal, yes, it's still going to say be negative, is six-tenths. So now I have negative 55 hundredths, and I have a negative six-tenths. So I'm just going to kind of look at the tenths place, and I can see that the five is less than the six, and remember, the larger the number, the further away from zero it is, so we know that our negative 55 hundredths is going to be greater than, just by a little bit, our negative six tenths. So looking at the next problems, we're gonna order these from least, and I always like to mark my text, to greatest, to make sure that I follow those directions. So as I'm working this problem, I'm gonna look at all of them. Okay, they're all decimals. I see I have some negatives and I have some positives. And so when I'm looking at them, I know that my negatives are less than any positive. So I am going to just be looking at my negatives right now, and here they are. Well, we know that negative three is further away from zero than our two tenths, so our negative three and five tenths is gonna be the smallest. Coming next, because it's negative, will be two tenths, now we're passing over to the positive side, so I have two of them, and we see that our six tenths is definitely smaller than our whole number of five. And so when I'm looking at this problem, putting it in this, I did not put my negative sign there, I'm double checking my answer. I have a negative three and five tenths is the smallest, the negative zero and two tenths comes next, zero and six tenths, and then our five. And we could actually write it with a less than symbol. So you may see answers written both ways with commas or just less than symbols like what I am doing right now. This is our answer, either one of these, for number four. Well, looking at number five, I see that I have a zero, a negative, a negative. Oh, wait a minute, that's a decimal. This is a fraction. Oh, and I have a fraction and I have a decimal. So I know that my life will be much easier if everything is in decimal form. When we write our answer, we're still gonna use the numbers that they give us, but I am going to change this negative one and four fifths I know that's the same as negative one and eight tenths. And then when I'm looking at my negative one third, 
that's a repeating decimal, so I'm just gonna write it as a negative, and it's 3 tenths repeating. Looking again, we have one, two, three, four, five numbers that we wanna make sure that we catch all of them. So sometimes I'll just put a little check mark above it to make sure that I have all of my, my numbers listed from least to greatest. So we're gonna start with the negatives, and we do have a negative one and nine tenths, one and eight tenths, and then three tenths. So going further away from zero, we're starting with the negative one and nine tenths. The next number I see is actually one and eight tenths, but remember, we always want to write what they give us, the original. So it's a negative one and four fifths. And then I see that I have negative three tenths, and I'm going to write it again as the original, a negative one third. So all of my negatives are represented, and they're all marked up above. So I see, what do I have left? I have a zero and 25 hundredths. Well, going toward the zero now, we know as the numbers get bigger, they're worth more. So we know that zero definitely is smaller than my 25 hundredths. So that is it written from least to greatest. And again, we can definitely rewrite this putting in the less than symbols if that is what the directions call for or if that is what your teacher would actually, how they'd like to see it written. Either answer is correct because it is written from least to greatest. If this video was helpful to you today, Please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more math with Marsha. See you again soon.